welcome back to another video. Now, when I first started this channel a few months ago, I did it with the intention of filming all of my videos in the outdoors, just heading out for spontaneous adventure, photographing breathtaking landscapes, and the diverse wildlife that our planet has to offer. But then the COVID-19 pandemic came along and things didn't really go according to plan. All these months later and things are still not going according to plan. There's no more travel, no more outdoors and no more wildlife. But you know what? You don't need to go far to be able to find wildlife. All you have to do is keep your eyes and ears open and you'll realize that they were in your backyard all along. So with all of the self-quarantining and the back-to-back -back lockdowns, we've all been spending more time at home than we ever have before. And personally for me, living in the suburbs, I've had the luxury of having a little more tree cover than the busy city areas. Because of this, I've been hearing so much birdsong in the last few months. It's probably always been there, but I've only just begun to take notice of it. This tree outside my window is where almost all of that bird song comes from. Unfortunately, I don't have a very clear view of it and that leaves me with only one option. Welcome to my rooftop. I've got the Canon 200-400mm f4 zoom lens with the built-in 1.4x teleconverter mounted on my Canon 5D Mark IV. Looking over the ledge of the building, you can see that this is a pretty good vantage point for bird photography, especially with its close proximity. Within a few minutes, I began to see brief glimpses of tailor birds, sunbirds and coppersmiths. All I could think of was why didn't I get up here sooner? It was somewhere around afternoon, but with the sky being overcast, I thought it wouldn't be much of a problem. And again, within a few minutes, all of that changed and the sun was back out as harsh as it could ever be. I moved my setup into the shade because I didn't want to photograph barbecued birds. After a couple of hours, the clouds returned and I went back to the ledge. Every time I saw movement, I'd pan my camera only to have my subject fly away before I could properly frame it. Photographing small birds requires tremendous amounts of patience. In addition to the skittish movement, I had the weather slowly deteriorate and I even got attacked by a bunch of crows. As much as I love nature, crows are just... and they're complete. Amidst all of these challenges, I managed to make one satisfactory photograph. This is a common tailor bird with its gaze locked onto an insect that it was busy hunting. Just a fraction of a second later and I would miss the moment entirely. And soon after I took that shot, it began to rain and I was forced to pack up. I'm going to treat this first attempt as a complete trial, but still a successful recce of sorts. Until it's safe to travel, my rooftop is going to be my new bird photography hotspot. I'm going to take this up as a challenge and try and photograph the diversity of bird life that this tree houses. For my second attempt, I'm going to make a camouflage hide to shoot from. Now this is going to conceal my presence from the birds and it will result in closer sightings. But more importantly, I won't be a disturbance to their natural activity. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Your support is going to help me build this channel and community and take it a long, long way. See you in the next one.